Hi, I'm Vincent, and this video is on strings and some of the methods that you can do with strings. What methods are available for manipulating strings? The easiest way to find out is to use the dir function. The dir function lists all the methods of a given class. So if we give it the class name str, which is the name in Python for string, we get a list of all the available methods. For now, don't worry about all the ones with the underscores. We will just look at all these other ones starting from capitalize. But we won't look at all of them in this video, just the more important ones. The first one we're going to look at is strip. To get more information, we can look up help of str.strip. And this tells us that strip has a string at the beginning, so we go string.strip, and it returns a copy of the string with leading and trailing white space removed. So what this means, if I have a string with a bunch of spaces, a few spaces in the middle, and a bunch of spaces at the end, and I perform dot strip on it, then I get a copy of the string, and all the leading white spaces that I had and all the trailing white spaces that I had are gone. The ones that are in the middle remain. This can be seen to make the copy that if I have my string to be this, so my string is currently this, I get string dot strip. I get my stripped version, but my string has not changed. That's why it's giving us the copy. Now it says that if chars is given and not none, it will remove characters in chars instead. So you can give it a string of characters for you, that will be removed. So instead of having my string as being this, I'm, I'm going to make a new one. Just going to have a few hashes, a few at symbols, then some stuff, and then a few more hashes and at symbols at the end. So now if I do string dot strip, I can put in a string containing hashes and at symbols, and I get a copy of my string with all the leading and trailing hashes and at symbols removed. So string is very powerful for removing stuff from the start and end of your string that you don't want. There is an equivalent where you have um, R strip, which will just strip off from the right hand edge. So if I do this again, but use R strip, I've just lost the characters from the right hand end, and there is also an equivalent with L strip. The next method we're going to look at is going to be the split method. So split is also a quite useful tool when dealing with strings. So let's have a look at the help for str.split. So split returns a list of the words in the string s using sep as the delimiter string. If max split is given, at most max split splits are done. If sep is not specified or is none, any white space, string or separator and empty strings are removed from the result. So what this means is if I have a string that is equal to hello world, how are you? And I perform string dot split with no inputs. It will work just on the white space, which has given me the words hello world, how are you? And even though I had a couple of spaces at the end here, it hasn't ha given me an empty string or anything like that because it removes them as part of the result. The max split operator is that if I again do my string dot split and specify that I want to split spaces because now I have to, um, but I only want to split on three spaces. It will only split on the first three spaces it finds and then the remaining string is left as the last argument in my list. I can also get string to split at other characters instead of the space so I'm going to get it to split at the little O character and now I get that resulting list instead. There is a similar method called partition. Keeping my string is my hello world how are you string. I'm going to look at what would happen if I performed 
str.partition. So partition searches for the separator s and returns the part before it, the separator itself, and the part after it as a tuple. If the separator is not found, return s and two empty strings. So let's see what that means. So if I do partition, and I say I'm going to partition at a space, then my string has been split at just the first space. So my string was this string here, and partition has found this first space here, which it has put as the second item in my tuple. Everything before that space has turned up in the first argument, everything after has been put into the third argument. And if I try to put in a separator that is not in th my string, so I'm going to put in the letter T, okay, so that is not in my string, then I just get the result of my original string and two empty strings in my tuple. For both split and partition, there is also the R partition and the R split method. And they both work from the right hand edge instead. So in the case of partition, if I use R partition, then it will find the last space. So if my string was now equal to hello world, how are you without those remaining spaces, then my string dot R partition with the space will just split at that last space. And it's the same with string dot R split. If I specify the space and I only want to split three times, then I'll split three times from the right hand end of the string and the remaining start of the string will remain untouched at the beginning of the list. Thank you for watching this video. If you want to know more about what you can do with strings, please see the other string videos on this channel.